Hello everyone, I once again welcome you all to my YouTube channel English Banisa. So students, in this video we are going to talk about the result sheet, how to evaluate or calculate the CGPA and SGPA and how, how to see whether you have passed or failed. So students, रिजल्ट आने के बाद बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स कंफ्यूजन में पड़ जाते हैं कि वो फेल हो चुके हैं या फिर पास हो चुके हैं उन्हें समझ नहीं आ रहा होता है जो मार्कशीट है कुछ स्टूडेंट्स को समझ नहीं आती अब स्टूडेंट्स यहां पर कंफ्यूज है कि ग्रेड पॉइंट्स क्या है और क्रेडिट पॉइंट्स क्या है एसजीपीए क्या है परसेंटेज कैसे निकाले सीजीपीए क्या है एंड सो ऑन सो आई विल क्लियर दिस ऑल द डाउट्स इन दिस वीडियो so let's start first so see the difference between first of all credit and credit point so let's see credit credit is a unit by which the course work is measured it determines the number hours of instructions required per week for example one credit equals to one hour teaching means credit basically kisi bhi subject ke weightage ka means weightage ko measure karne ka ek parameter hai जनरली जब आप किसी भी क्लास में स्टडी करते हैं तो जनरली कुछ वहाँ पर कोर कोर्सेस होते हैं कुछ सेलेक्टिव कोर्सेस होते हैं और कुछ ऑप्शनल कोर्सेस होते हैं तो क्रेडिट सिस्टम में हर एक कोर्स के लिए हर एक सब्जेक्ट के लिए मींस रिगार्डिंग क्रेडिट पॉइंट्स दिए जाते हैं मींस पॉइंट असाइन किए जाते हैं सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी हियर इंग्लिश इज देयर इंग्लिश फॉर क्रेडिट इज गिवन सो इट इज गिवन बाय द यूनिवर्सिटी ओनली फॉर अरबिक देर इज अ फोर क्रेडिट एंड फॉर दिस वन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मैनेजमेंट फाइव क्रेडिट इज देयर फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग फाइव क्रेडिट इज देयर सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाय दिस क्रेडिट इट्स मीन दैट इसका मतलब है कि पर वीक फोर मीन्स क्लासेस मीन्स पर वीक फोर पीरियड की एक क्लास होनी चाहिए इस सब्जेक्ट में जो कि एक स्टैंडर्ड पैरामीटर है मीन्स वन क्रेडिट रिप्रेजेंट वन पीरियड वन क्रेडिट मीन्स ही वन पीरियड एक क्रेडिट का मतलब होता है एक पीरियड तो जिस भी सब्जेक्ट का क्रेडिट ज़्यादा हो जैसे कि आप यहाँ पर देख सकते हैं क्रेडिट फाइव इज देयर तो जिस भी सब्जेक्ट का क्रेडिट ज़्यादा होता है उसका वेटेज भी ज़्यादा होता है सो so, आपको उस सब्जेक्ट में ज़्यादा स्कोर करना मीन्स होगा जिसका क्रेडिट ज्यादा होगा क्योंकि वन क्रेडिट इक्वल्स टू वन आर ऑफ टीचिंग मींस पर वीक अब चलिए क्रेडिट पॉइंट्स की बात करते हैं अब क्रेडिट पॉइंट्स तो ये जो क्रेडिट पॉइंट है इट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ग्रेड पॉइंट एंड नंबर ऑफ क्रेडिट्स फॉर अ कोर्स दैट विल बी इक्वल्स टू सो हाउ विल कैलकुलेट दिस थर्टी सिक्स एंड टेन लेट सी सो बिफोर मीन्स मेजरिंग द क्रेडिट पॉइंट वी शुड रीड दिस वन we have to read this one now there are the levels that's outstanding excellent very good good and above so here the grades will be for outstanding o excellent a plus very good for a good for b plus above then average b is there then average c pass p and for fail f is there and for absent a b absent is there the grade point will be for outstanding 10 is there a plus 9 A eight, B plus seven. These all you can see here. If the student is fail, that will get zero grade point, and absentees also will get zero grade point. Now, how you will get these grade points and grade based on the marks? If you get ninety and above marks in your exam, then you will get O grade. That's ten grade point. If you get eighty to eighty nine, that will be grade point nine, and you will get A plus. In the same way, like this, you can see on the screen. Now, if the students fail in exam, so that means he got less than forty marks. If the students get less than forty marks, he will get zero. The grade point is zero, and under the grade, this section F will be there. That means fail. so how to calculate that credit points now here you can see a plus is there for a plus what is there what they have given they have given a 10 grade point sorry 9 9 they have given here 9 and for o 10 they have given so how we have to calculate that credit point we have to do multiplication for this 9 into 4 9 4s that equals to 36 
in the same way 10 fours are equals to 40 so in this way we have to calculate the credit point here I have given the formula credit into grade point equals to credit point I will show you how to means calculate the CGPA and your percentage now this is only information I am giving to you here now let us see what is grade grade is nothing but it is the performance of an examination test expressed by a number letter or any other symbol just now we have seen O for outstanding this is the grades A plus for means excellent and A for very good now let us see grade point what is grade point grade point is nothing but it is a numeral weight allotted to each letter grade on 10 means 10 point scale suppose if the students get or got O that means he got 10 marks means grade point is 10 if the students got or get A plus that means he got 9 grade point A 8 grade point just now we have seen here in the table if the students get O that means 10 grade point A plus 9 that will be grade points now let us see SGPA means semester grade point average it is measured of performance of work done in a semester means how much you have scored SGPA so how to calculate this SGPA so यहाँ पर SGPA calculate करने के लिए credit point divided by credit then your SGPA will come I will show you how to calculate now let's see the CGPA this is for second year semester so here how we need to calculate this first and second year result so this is the formula of CGPA first of all we need to take this one CG SGPA of first semester into total credit total credit whatever is there whatever you got only credit we are talking about this one this credits total credits whatever you got you have to do the total and you have to place here SGPA this SGPA then into total credit plus SGPA of second semester uh, into total credit then you have to divide it total credit of sem1 means this total credit of one sem and another sem also second semester total credit will be there so this is for first sem that's why it's not here so total credit of this and total credit of that that both together you have to mention here divided by then your next CGPA will come this is for second years means those who completed both the semesters now this is a mark sheet of one of my students let us see how she got this 8.96 how we have to calculate to get the SGPA so let's start it so these are the credit points which is decided by the university now let's see this one grade score she scored A plus in English A plus is nothing but 9 this is 10 this is also 10 so students you can see here a plus 9 o 10 o 10 b plus 7 a 8 o again 10 and a again 8 so how you have to calculate the here credit points this is the grade is scored and this is the credit now you have to calculate credit point then only you can see means calculate your sgpa now let us see so what you have to do you have to i have shown you the formula the formula was credit into grade point so this is the grade points so you have to multiply with this 4 now 9 Forza will be equals to 36 and this 10 into 4 will be 40 again 10 into 4 will be 40 7 to the 14 then 8 3 is 24 then again 10 into 2 that will be 20 and the last 8 fives are which will be 40 now you have to add all these numbers so what you will get you will get double two four this is the mark sheet of one of my student so now double two four this is the calc means uh, if you add this all number the answer will be 224 now what you have to do after getting this 
you have to calculate this credit now 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5 what it will be it will be 25 so it will be 25 now what you have to do you have to multiply means sorry you have to divide it how you will divide this 20 uh, 224 224 divided by 25 so if you do this 224 divided by 25 you will get your sgpa that is 8.96 here i have shown the formula to calculate sgpa what you have to do credit point whatever credit point is there means just now we have calculated to this again i will do here this is the credit point 224 divided by credit 25 we were got getting so that will be equals to 8.96 8.96 so this is the answer in this way you will get your SGPA so students i hope it would be helpful for you so credit are nothing but these credits are nothing but this is the credit basically means kisi bhi subject ka weightage ko major karne ka ek parameter hota hai generally that is called credit that is means given by the universities only that means if english having four credit means english ke four classes per week hone hi chahiye and practical and that whatever lab is there so lab and practical ke liye two periods equal to one credit but theory ke liye one credit equals to one period but practical ke liye or lab ke liye two periods equals to one credit yeah now you can see here this is for theory so here you can see here students one credit equals to one period in teaching theory one credit equals to two periods for practical and lab this is all about the credits that means how many periods we should learn per week so for english four credits are there that's mean in one week a week may a hafte may we need to learn four classes of english so this is all about uh, the credit and grade point students i hope it would be helpful for you thanks for watching